my name is Erica Gilliam and um, I am a watercolor artist and calligrapher. Today I am introducing a new series um, of videos that I'm going to be doing which is weekly-ish um, studio vlogging. Um, so basically what I wanted what I'm going to be doing is I will be vlog I will be recording throughout the week the things that I do as um, a work at home mom, as as um, an in home studio artist, um, watercolor artist, everything like that. Um, and I will be sharing them with you. I'll be sharing tips that I have along the way as well as um, just life, like the reality of being a work at home artist, um, a work at home mom, a homeschooling work at home mom. It's kind of insane. It is currently Tuesday. I actually recorded all of last week on my phone and I went to edit some of my videos that had been recording on my phone and there were so many issues like the audio doesn't match up with the video. The video kept doing like these weird little clicks where it would like move away. It just wasn't working and so as convenient as recording on my phone is, I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. At least. I'm gonna limit how much I record on my phone. So this week, well today is like only video, pretty much e exclusively video related stuff. So um, I am editing videos um, for my YouTube, my YouTube channel. I am um, releasing, well by the time you see this it'll already have been released, um, a studio tour. So I edited that this morning and I edited, um, I'm, I'm editing some videos for my mom, um, so I don't make all of my money from watercolor paintings and, and prints and commissions. Um, I would like to get to a place where all of my money comes from my art exclusively, but um, there's a lot of freelance stuff I have to do. I, um, I film and edit videos for my mother's company. She's got like online courses and membership sites and stuff. So I do all the video work for that. Um, and I have a few miscellaneous things. I run her Pinterest account, stuff like that. So today is filled with client work as well as my own videos. Everything just, you know, takes way longer than what <laughs> you plan. Um, luckily my daughter has been really busy. Um, so it's actually been a pretty easy work day for me. Um, it's just, I would much rather be painting, but these are things that I have to do. So that's okay. Um, I, I'm gonna try to fit in a little bit of painting at some point today, but we'll have to see. I, I don't know if it'll work. So the format of these are gonna be clips of me kind of talking about what I'm doing, but then just like video of me working, of my paintings, time lapses. It's gonna be like, just kind of a combination of things. So let's just get right into this and um, yeah, that's about it. Let's just do this. <laughs>
today is Wednesday. Um, if I'm honest, the week has um, gotten away from me a little bit, so I'm trying really hard to kind of focus myself. Honestly, it took four days off um, this last weekend, and I think it's taking almost as many days to get back in the flow of things than um, that I took off. But that's okay. So right now I'm sitting down with my bullet journal, and um, I am kind of thinking through my day. I'm thinking through... Um, a like really detailed to-do list um, not necessarily just what I have to do today um, but like kind of stuff I have to do moving forward I created one about a month ago and some of the projects have kind of again pushed been pushed back but um, I completed about half of it um, all the art related stuff um, and so now I'm kind of going back through I'm adding in client work I'm either behind on or that I have upcoming um, I'm adding in commissions, things that I know that I'm going to have to paint. So I'm just trying to think through everything right now, get it out of my head, um, and then I can add to it as I need. Um, I go back and forth. My to-do lists go back and forth between, um, physical copies such as my bullet journal and digital copies I use um, OneNote for like my brain so I just like split everything into I, like work and then everything's broken down into that and then that's all broken down into smaller sections so it's like kind of organized chaos um, on my OneNote and so um, there's a lot of stuff that's duplicated and sometimes I'm really into like using a digital um, a digital format for like my note keeping um, but then other times I'm really into a physical one so right now I'm really into physical um, the bullet journal is perfect for that because I don't have to stress over whether or not I use it if that makes any sense so um, so if I don't use it for like a week or two or whatever um, I'll just pick back up where I'm at like um, I'll just keep filling pages as opposed to a physical calendar like a happy planner or the recollections planner or an Erin Con Condren one of where those if you miss a page you now have an empty page looming forever and for me that really 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 stresses me out so um, I stopped using a physical planner I don't know a few months ago um, I just decided I got rid of all my stuff I think I think I got rid of everything I might have stuffed it in the basement just in case. Yeah, so right now I am going to finish up my plan for today's slash the next couple days. Um, they'll kind of mold into each other. A lot of times I'll make like the schedule for like Wednesday and then it's plus Thursday and Friday. <laughs> That's my life.
Um, I've learned a few things this week. The first is that I suck at remembering to record these. Mind you, this is like my first one, so you know, I can only expect so much for myself, but I did an entire painting on Wednesday night, like a big one, and it was pretty, and it was great, and I totally forgot to film it, just completely. Um, so there's that. But I will say that this is the first moment that nobody is in the room. There's always someone there, there's always noise, there's always something, and it's so frustrating. Anyways, um, so this week, my biggest focus was trying to get caught up. I'm not done yet. Um, the reality is I work almost every single day of the week. I do try to take off time. Um, I more, I do more like take off evenings or work half day and then work every day versus like take off an entire Sunday or an entire Saturday. I'm trying to get better at that though. The other thing that I've learned is that I'm really, really good when I, at um, productivity when I have like a really set deadline such as um, this art show that I just did, you know, I was up till, like, I worked crazy hours, but I got everything done in the last, like, three days. Um, or, like, today I had a, a lettering project for my brother and his wife, um, and, you know, I worked really well because I knew I had to have it done by 11 o'clock, so I got up early and I did it this morning. Um, I, I had already planned it. It wasn't like it was crazy to do it this late, but um, I work really, really well with a deadline. And one of the biggest things that I'm trying to figure out is how to like harness that, essentially. Like how to create deadlines for myself that I'll actually follow. Um, I don't have the answer for that, but that's something I'm working on. I feel like this week is really boring. And recording wise, I haven't done like really, I mean I did that one painting and I have some other paintings I need to do this weekend, so I'm gonna film them so that I have paintings in this studio vlog, but the, the reality is like half, more than half my work is, is not painting, is not anything creative. So what have I been doing this week? I've been getting caught up on client work. Um, I do some miscellaneous freelance stuff for my mom, I've been getting caught up on that. And I'm trying to get my shop, my online shop, like, ready. So I've been working on getting my shop listings correct. I also ordered sticker um, sample pack, which is on its way to me. Hopefully that'll be here soon. And if it gets here before I edit this video, I will, um, I will add a clip of that in here. But if not, it'll be in my next one. It's fine. But um, I'm so excited because I'm going to offer print... Um, offer stickers. I don't know what of yet. I don't know anything. I don't, it looks like I haven't gotten that far, but I have ideas. I just haven't figured them out yet. So that's really what I've been working on. So this week isn't a huge painting week. I, I wish I had recorded last week. I cranked out 12 pieces in three days. Um, beautiful pieces. They were really simple. Really, really simple pieces. Most of them. And I didn't record any of it. And not only that, I did photograph them for prints, but I didn't photograph them for like Instagram at all. And I, I've sold two of them already that I'm just, I'm not gonna be able to photograph the original, but I have them for prints. So I'm gonna photograph a print for Instagram. It's fine, but I didn't plan any of that ahead. So now I'm gonna have to print them so that I can photograph them so that I can put them on Instagram. It's like, yeah, but um, I, so I've been working on editing all of those. I removed the background and um, I may do a video. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments below, but um, for how I prepare my my um, paintings for prints, uh, what I do, I use Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, um, what I do, how I remove the background, paper texture and everything. Um, so let me know if you're interested in that, and I will do that. Um, other than that, I kind of feel like right now, that's all. I have a lot of work to do, and I have lost 30 minutes of it recording this and the phone calls I keep getting. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go work um, on my shop listings uh, more, <laughs> and um, we'll, we'll We'll catch back up before I end this eventually.